Welcome, thanks for joining us here today. We have our April, and April is one of my favorite times of year around here. You can see I got short sleeves on. That's nice, right? So it's getting a little warmer outside. We both got our haircuts, looking good. And this is the time of year where everybody's car is green, no matter what color your car is. Well, that's why I don't like it, because my eyes are so itchy. They're bad. I'm an Allegra D every morning type of guy, so the congestion's yeah. good. None of that, but my eyes are so itchy. And you're an outside mow grass type of guy, too. Oh, yeah, so. a couple times a week, because my son was <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't need it, then we just do it. But you know, it's only like usually like two weeks ish of it, and it usually dies down after that. Yeah, we were out this weekend, you know, we went doing it, you know, edge of the sidewalk and stuff, and I go in there. <laughs> now he's too young; the allergies really don't kick in yet at his age, right? He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's so resilient. Uh, that's funny. We planted a couple of like orchard trees. We have two apple trees and a peach tree and a cherry tree now, but they're like little ones. But the kids did it all themselves. That's really cool. So we have like a little like orchard out there in the house now. We have a little shape in it. It'll be like 10 ish years, but it'll pull up for a little while. We can't wait for Arbor Day. No. <laughs> no, I didn't wait for Arbor Day at all. They give me little tiny trees for Arbor Day. I shouldn't even. Just do it. Yeah. You have fun. You love it. Dig it all up and show how to do it. That's what he did. Let's go with this guy. And now each kid like calls their own tree and they go out there and check on it and make sure the tree's doing good. That's my tree. That's my tree. That's my tree. Yeah. So we'll see how goes. sad would it be if the storm came out. I'll buy a new one. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. We, we can do it again. <laughs> we can do it again. Twenty dollars, thirty bucks per tree. I think we got that. All right. So today we're actually going to talk some real estate too because the market is also heating up, not just the pollen. Yeah. Um, I know our team snagged uh, roughly like five or six listings right now. Um, I'm sure you're seeing the same. So now we're getting a little more competitive. We're still seeing multiple offers. Don't think that just because the news channels say the word recession that it's actually happening here. Yeah. Really isn't. We're still seeing multiple offers. We're still seeing short inventory. And are you seeing closing help? Yes. So okay. I, obviously it's situational. Yeah. But uh, sometimes we fail to really articulate um, in our industry that there are certain scenarios where we make sense. Like, I've got a bunch of different things. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, for a few hours, you should um, But if the price is right, it's, it's all up on the seller. So it's situational, but we sometimes we're guilty of making a blanket statement. It's very competitive. No closing out. Um, it's not necessarily the case. I had a client that closed on Friday and got money back in full. We did down loan assistance and then put some money in for inspections and deposits. We got all the closing paperwork. We got back in closing, which is obviously too much more of a but it's It's about, like you said, it's about the extra incentive, right? So if you're preparing an offer and um, you got to find out what that seller needs. Do they need a little more time in the house? That's a big thing right now. Yeah. Rent back. So if you're able to give some rent back in a scenario like that, you might get a little closing help to kind of compensate. Um, do they need things like a push back closing date? Do they need a push up closing date? Do they need, you know, do you want to express that you're only asking for major concerns in a home inspection? Do you, you know, things like that. Using accredited, like better inspectors. Like there's certain inspectors that strike fear in uh, listing agents for sure. So you have to at the top of that agent and say what kind of inspectors you use and see if that helps. Like there's a lot of ins and outs and tricks that can help you get that book. So many little facets to know. Oh, yeah. It's not just price. Um, and uh, speaking with some realtors recently, uh, talked about a scenario where it literally came down to who the lender was. <laughs> that helped. Because the price was literally the same. Neither yeah. asked for closing help. The closing yeah. dates were very similar. And one was a local lender, and another one was one that she had never heard of, and she couldn't really even find reviews on on the internet. So um, that was a scenario where she can echo that to say, yeah. local lender actually does make a huge difference. Yeah, no, it yeah. definitely does. There's so many factors that it's really easy, and getting to know other agents and having relationships. And you, I know you call agents too when an offer comes in. You'll give them a call and say, hey, listen, this is Tim. I just wanted to make sure I got this. Everything, this is how the loan looks. Everything's looking good. Not giving away too much information. I know you're you're able to say certain things. But you can say, hey, listen, this is a solid loan. Mm -hmm. We're looking good here. Yeah, a general idea of, it's we call it the warm and fuzzy. Yeah, right? warm and fuzzy, that's, that's it. You know, there's a comfort level from me to say, hey, this should be a very smooth process yeah. because it's not a tough loan. It's one that will get closed with, with relatively no heartaches. And the listing agent likes to hear that. They can relay that to their seller to yep. say, uh, that's not going to be a concern in this. Yep. The lending piece has been taken care of. 
there is something to be said. I had this conversation just this morning with one of my sellers that one of the offers uh, gave him some extra incentives. And they said, listen, that one might be a little higher, but the conveniences mm -hmm. involved in this offer is making us lean that way. So that way they're giving us a little more time to do this. They're giving me more time like this. They have a lender we've heard of. Sometimes there's hard to put a monetary value on like the sound of mind yes. and to get rid of that anxiety because my folks were moving to their side of the country. Yeah. So they had a lot of stress to begin with. They had the kids, the dogs moving to far away and all the factors that the offer came in with relieved a lot of the anxiety so they can focus on moving over because in the end a couple thousand dollars to them specifically was worth it to have a stress be move yeah i mean make, makes sense like yeah. we always sort of default to uh highest and best not but, always but no it's it's very particular you have to really go through that contract and that offer with a fine tooth comb and see what the benefits are mm -hmm. um, so there's little tactics i mean you have to talk to a realtor, when you're making your offer, you have to kind of submit to them to say, what can I do over and above price yep. to make this attractive to the seller? Yep. And it's a conversational thing. Yep. Um, and good good realtors that understand that win contracts. Yep. Yeah. It's very good, and we know the people. So, And then for our next topic, is something we haven't had a chance to actually talk about since... October without you slapping me across the table and saying shut up <laughs> We can talk about your favorite word Rates rates interest rates mortgage interest rates. It's been fun. Yeah. Actually, it's back to a fun. normal number now We're like we can actually say the word five. Yeah um, Close we sort of were not that we were avoiding that topic but it was, <laughs> you know, when Rates are in the sevens um, We did have a lot of people that could sort of dip their toe in the water of buying and then they found that just the buying power Wasn't what they wanted. Yeah and it sort of scared them back out of the market. And that's why we were echoing over the last few months. Yeah, yeah. That, hey, there's an opportunity here for you to get yep. in there, you know, terms while rates are high and then refinance later. Well, we're past that. We're now we're to the point where rates are in the low sixes or in the fives. Yep. And we have more people that are now interested in purchasing properties. But the other silver lining would be that if you have someone that's a homeowner that's at 25 or 3%, like many people are, yep. it would take a palatable interest rate for them to sell that house and buy another one. Motivation. So now if we're if we are in the fives or we get lower and we get into the fours, now I think we're gonna have a flood of inventory of people to say, Okay, I can take that increase in payment. I can accept that. I yeah. know you know, we've outgrown this house, we wanna to move to a different area. Now's the time to do it because we can finally just release this three percent rate that we've been holding on to for so long. <laughs> um, so hopefully that's that, that will happen over the next six months. Plus the equity in all the houses has definitely gone up. I mean mm -hmm. in our area I can't guarantee but I can almost guarantee the equity in your home has been up. And so if you're selling it for a little bit more money then you can turn around and even if you need to buy down points and do some other things to help um, that forever home scenario be down or you know you refinance if, it, if you're in the sevens and you can always bump it back down again but you have options yeah. now it's yeah nice you know people are making money off their sales so it's exactly you, you put it as a down payment on that on the next house or you buy down your interest rate you know we, it comes to a point where it's a conversation that I'm having with people to say if you buy down now we're gonna refi maybe yeah. in the next 12 months um, let's get you to a payment that you want to be but let's not go too deep because you don't want to waste that money and buying down your rate when you can have it um, or even lower in, in 12 months so we're having all these very deep conversations which is why I'm meeting client uh, here this afternoon in my office I'm meeting one tomorrow morning in my office come to the office let's sit down and let's talk and then I can show you all your options it really is beneficial for that reason yeah so you meet over that and then you meet over steaks right as of the two scenarios you do steak dinners for clients a lot of times right cut this please cut this <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Meeting the office is perfect. Yes. I'll meet the yes. clients out and do maybe lunch. a donut. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> Cuz all this local food. I always do local food. Yeah. There's a lot of local food. Anyway, um you also do and it's a good time to talk about that. There's still like uh grants and programs and things for certain groups. Yes. So we just Friday I mentioned the one that uh, got some money back because he did down payment assistance. Cool. Um and so the state of Maryland lends you money to uh, borrow for your down payment and closing costs and then of course he got closing help as well which meant that he got money back at yeah. settlement now you know he, he will eventually owe that money back so that program is not a grant it is a second loan on the property, uh, okay. but it's zero okay. percent interest uh, we call it a silent second you don't make hands on it so he'll be in the you know if he's in the house for a few years he'll accrue enough equity and then pay off that second loan yeah, along with cool. the first when he goes to sell um, 
still doing a lot of USDA loans. They're very I've popular. I've seen a few. Yeah. I've seen a few, and the rates for those ones are really good. Conventional loans are still really good. Yeah, I mean, USDA, um, it doesn't really get much better in terms of interest rate than USDA yeah. loans. They're fantastic. Really, to help young yeah. buyers. But, I mean, even if you're an older buyer have never done it before, or you've been out of the housing market for a little while and dumping back in, all those things are good scenarios. Because rental prices are, you think, that, yeah, just through the roof around this area. Like, they're crazy to rent. It's wild, but... You know, you find very particular scenarios where it might make sense for somebody to rent. And then, of course, you bite the bullet and do it. But, man, if you can at least have the conversation about I would doing sit down. USDA financing or trying to get into something and buying. I would even say this. Sit down and have the conversation and get it started. Because at some point, even renting, they're going to run your credit scores. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you should at least have a ballpark idea of where you're at. Mm-hmm. So if you sit down with the lender and say, I want to get the process started. I don't know where my credit is. You can at least, like, have a credit have a scenario where like you can pay it off or, or fix your credit if you need to. And then when you're going out looking at rentals, you're not blindsided by where your credit is. And it really doesn't hit your credit score. It doesn't affect your credit score doing something like that. I'm not sure people understand that lenders can give free credit advice. We what? really can. It's something what? that we do almost on a daily basis where we're running credit reports for people who need improvement and we're giving free calculated advice. It's not just, hey, I think this is what yeah. you should do. There's real data. We have real uh, simulators that we can utilize. So if you're somebody that thinks you need to rent because of a credit score issue, well, let's verify that first. And if that is the case, we'll give you a, a roadmap to improve so that when that lease is up, you can buy something. Here's another thing. If you're going out and you have a bad credit and you still need to rent, having that, being able to go to that landlord and say, listen, I'm also talking to a lender to try to get my credit repaired, mm-hmm. that helps. I mean, it helps a little bit. I mean, you're, you can't fix their credit right away, but you can at least say, hey, I'm doing some things to get myself back on track. Landlords sometimes, well, you know, they'll be interested in the idea and maybe even call Tim and say, listen, here's the things that they did and yeah. maybe they need to do this, that, and the other thing. And that also helps, especially if your credit's bad and you're trying to get a place. That it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. Yeah, or you have a landlord that goes, okay, well, that, that actually is great because I might want to sell this place in a year and then you can buy it from me. Yep, so, all um, those things are helpful. Awesome. Like that, yeah. So anything else to add? I think that was pretty good. We had a lot of topics there, a lot of conversations, a lot of good news, minus the pollen. Yeah, well, look, warm weather breeds uh, inventory. We found we saw it after Easter. We yep. really saw uh, an influx of homes going on the market, and they go quickly still, a yep. lot of competition. So, again, I feel like we've been pressing the same point home for so long, is that you need to have more care in a market like this. Yep. If you're in a competitive market, it's not just call me at two o'clock on the uh, on a Saturday afternoon because I want to submit an offer by four, you can still do that. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You can yeah. still do that. But there's you've missed an opportunity to educate yourself on what the possibilities are. And if we can do that from a lending perspective, we help you in assembling your offer. Um, so just take the time. If you, if you think you're within yeah. even six months of looking to buy something, call me now. And, and yeah, and it's just a good idea to just get the loan process started with a solid lender because if you go with somebody else or something happens during the loan process to cause a delay or even like a delay in closing, mm-hmm. these sellers are going to put it back on the market. They're not going to mess around because they already had multiple offers. Why would they sit around and wait for you? Put it back on. Maybe they'll get you more money, maybe less closing help, maybe whatever. Mm-hmm. They'll just throw it back on the market. So you better have your ducks in a row and that loan better go smoothly or you, you find yourself without a house. Backup offers are a real thing. Yep. And I had a client a few weeks ago who was the backup offer, and the first one fell through, and then he's in that... Scooped yeah, up and ready to go. Exactly. So there are high stakes. when you're Even when you're under contract, it's not time to sort of exhale. You still mm-hmm. have to move forward, and you still have to do the job. So if you have a, a lender on this side that's going to do the job, it helps. an extra level of comfort for you. You just want to go... You, I mean, you want it to go smoothly for yourself, but you also want to go smoothly for everybody involved because... Yeah. You don't need the extra stress. No, not at all. When's the next event? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. It's coming up. It's like in two weeks. I was just talking to the team about it today. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's coming up. Okay. So we're thinking about, we have limited space in that one, so we're thinking about making it a, a private VIP in the morning mm-hmm. and then doing like a public thing in the afternoon for all moms because okay. those the, our events, uh, you, you see the pictures from Easter? We had about 200-ish. Like, our events are getting a little more attended. Yeah. So we've got to make some tweaks. Now, the Father's Day one, which is the one after in, in June, mm-hmm. it'll be open to public because we have a different venue at Molly's Beer and Axe Throwing. Love that. So we're making some tweaks and some adjustments, but you have to just be on the lookout, you know? Yeah. Be in, open your email. If, any, if you open any email, ours is the one because we have all kinds of stuff going on. So. And eventually, you will have an array of T-shirts, really in every color. 
from the local team, which is cool. I have like two or three of the St. Patrick's ones left, and that's it. Dibs. Oh, your uh, quadruple X? Is that? Is oh that, man, is that? I got like three of those left. Yeah. Is that? Well, does that work? Can we intentionally shrink it? Can we intentionally shrink it? Cut it in half and sew it back together. Yeah, I might do the muscle shirt, <laughs> cut off the sleeves. It's your lawn mowing shirt. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, you're. Hey, people draft your neighborhood. It's still our advertising. I will have a lawn mowing tan in a couple weeks. No doubt about it. Sunburn top of my head. I love it. We have the riding mower with a canopy, so and a beer holder. That's what we do. Yeah. I don't it's a know big Canopy. No. Brave the sun. <laughs> I look at this Irish skin, man. I, I I don't I don't tan. I go right from white to burn. We're the same. Well, look at our. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. We're the same <laughs> pigment. Yeah. From white to burn. <laughs> Nothing in between. Folks, thank you for your attention. Thanks for hopping in. If we can be of any help, we can answer any questions. You don't even have to be using us at the time. Just ask us. Where should I be doing? What advice do you have? If it's a scenario where we can give you some advice, we can sit down with you even better. But. We want to be sure that everybody knows how to navigate and they don't get ripped off and everybody's doing what they can be. We want to have the most uh, educated group of followers possible. So whatever we can do, we'll answer your questions. We'll do what we can help. Until next time. Until next time, it'll be May. Oh my goodness, it's flying by. It's gonna be May. And then school's out here. Actually, we're almost to summer. <laughs>